Proverbs written by King Solomon. Selah. Chapter 4. Chapter 5. Warning against adultery. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Turn your ear to my words of insight, that you may, may maintain discretion. And your lips may preserve knowledge, for the lips of the adulterous woman drip honey. And her speech is smoother than oil, but in the end she is bitter as gal, sharp as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps lead straight to the grave. She gives no thought to the way of life. Her paths wander aimlessly, but she does not know it. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what I say. Keep to a path far from her. Do not go near the door of her house, lest you lose your honor to others and your dignity to one who is cruel. Least strangers feast on your wealth and your toil enrich the house of another. At the end of your life, you will groan. When your flesh and body are spent, you will say how I hated discipline, how my heart spurned correction. I would not obey my teachers or turn my ear to my instructors. And I was soon in serious trouble in the assembly of God's people. Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well, should your springs overflow in the streets your streams of water in the public squares. Let them be yours alone, never to be shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed, and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth. A loving doe, a graceful deer, may her breasts satisfy you always. May you ever be intoxicated with her love. Why, my son, be intoxicated with another man's wife? Why embrace the bosom of a wayward woman? For your ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all your paths. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them. The cords of their sins hold them fast. For lack of discipline, they will die. Led astray by their own great folly. You know, I like when it says when it's talking about like an adulterous woman that her paths wander aimlessly, but she does not know it. That's really true. Cause when I worked in the smoke shop in Portland, there was a lot of prostitutes and strippers that would go there. And of course, you know, they would, they're not prostitutes and strippers, but that's exactly what they are. And they would like, buy some vape or something then come back like an hour and a half later and then like buy like a couple incense like they just didn't know what they were doing you know like I don't know if they were high or what but it seemed like they were like aimlessly walking around just waiting for some poor sucker to like offer them like $50 um and so they could just buy more like crack or fentanyl or whatever um so it's just like like sex is energy and and if you like s connect with so many different people you basically become scattered and and physically sick and and you can see it and sometimes maybe not physically sick but spiritually sick like if you if you ever talk to like a porn star or something like they could maybe not have a disease but they're like almost like a shell of a person like they're just there's something like off with them and and they eventually do become sick um it's just like the swingers culture is godless and and there's consequences and a lot of times it's unattended consequences meaning they're like well we're you know i was both whatever both people agree to have premarital sex so you're like how could that be wrong you know and it seems like there's always consequences like every single time like there's never been a married man or a married woman that had an affair and has not suffered consequences that has that has never happened even with setting mutual agreements and and saying oh let's let's not get upset with each other da 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 woo 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 there's always like shit happens. That's why like the whole commune counterculture movement in the sixties, it never worked. 
you know, you had like maybe 50 like-minded people go live in the middle of nowhere. And eventually it was their community would be schismed and there would be disputes because everything you need to know about how to navigate life is, is literally in the Proverbs. It's not a secret. There's, there's no secret pledge or secret. Um, you don't have to dis- decipher anything. There's no code. It's literally in, in translated in English from, from the Hebrew or the Greek. And everything you need to know is in Proverbs. Ginger sniffing the phone. <laughs> and because um, we're not like dogs like a dog like a female dog will have you know babies from multiple other dogs but we're not like animals you know and uh, oh, so there's some nihilists out there secular people that that literally act like like wild animals and uh, and everything they have is eventually taken away from them just like uh, prostitutes and 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 men that buy women every they always they always lose you know they everything gets taken from them eventually and then they have to start over again it's just it's not my rules i'm not making this shit up i'm not telling you how it's gonna go it's just my observation um you know like anytime i've i've known or seen someone like mess around including myself there's always been consequences i mean go talk to your local physician like stds and stuff all that's real as well so um and and uh eternal consequences are even heavier i mean there's nowadays people don't even believe in a heaven or a judgment or anything and so they're really screwed um because you know we are going to go somewhere after we die we don't come back to earth in another form like a lot of people teach um it's it's just we just don't um 